Sentencing proceedings against convicted double murderer Vincenzo Pietropaolo have been postponed in the Johannesburg High Court. The court has granted Pietropaolo his application to get a social worker for his pre-sentencing statement. Yesterday, the court found him guilty of killing his father in March in 2017 and his wife in November of the same year. Pietro Paolo is the former treasurer of the Bank of Athens. Our reporter Heidi Giocos joins me now uh, for more on this story. Heidi, good afternoon. Thanks for making time. So remind us of the details of the case. Uh, so what we understand, uh, Clements, is that um, Vincenzo Pietropaolo murdered his wife in November of 2017. And before I get into the merits of what happened with his father, um, he murdered his wife in November of 2017. Um, evidence points him in the vicinity, roaming the area about an hour before he eventually pulled up to the house that they used to share. Um, Manuela and Pietropaolo were um, still married. However, they were separated for about three years and uh, we understand that he was um, dropping off documents well he claims to be dropping off documents and he says that uh, his wife had called him to the front door and this is when uh, he claims there was an argument he says he was provoked by an emotional storm from his wife and this is when he decided to discharge the firearm he says he had no intent of murdering her or harming her but he got so angry uh, because of the arguments and this is when he fired nine bullets into her body uh, but what's interesting about this case is that uh, he was he was arrested the very same night uh, that he murdered his wife it took him about two and a half minutes to do so and uh, when um, police were further investigating this matter they realized that the gun that he used to shoot his wife was also the same gun that was used in the murder of his father in March of 2017. In March of 2017 uh, police thought it, it was a botched robbery and um, there were three gunshots in his father. His father was found in a sleeping position and um, the court however found that it was in fact Pietro Paolo. He stole the gun from his father's safe and um, he took two guns in fact. The one belonged to his father and the other one belonged to his brother and this is the gun that he used to shoot his father as well as uh, his wife so the court has found him guilty of both murders and the court also says that it was premeditated uh, we filed this report yesterday let's have a listen after three years of delays the verdict is in guilty as charged a high court has found Vincenzo Pietrapalo murdered his father in his sleep and just seven months later, his estranged wife. Police initially thought the father's murder was a botched robbery, but later established it was much closer to home. The holes on the sheets, he was shot through the sheets. There was a muffled, muffled sound there must have been. But here, this court can find that beyond any doubt, and beyond all doubt, it is the accused who killed his father. Petra Paolo shot his wife, Manuela, nine times at the front door of the home they used to share. From the very start, when he started dating my sister, he was a very, very deceiving character. But as time got along, it became worse with each day, so badly so that he was verbally abusing her, mentally and emotionally. She couldn't do a thing without having his permission. You didn't shoot her, Enzo. You gunned her down. She had so many bullets in her body. Petra Paolo initially denied killing his wife, but later said, quote, I discharged the firearm due to an emotional storm started by my wife. His own brother has condemned him. It was the most despicable act any person could do to his own father, who gave him everything throughout his life, even when he was in financial trouble. He gave you everything. And this is how you say thanks to him. Without regard for anybody, not your kids, not me, none of the families that you touched. Sentencing is scheduled for Tuesday. Heidi Jokos, Johannesburg.
So, Heidi, sentencing was expected today, but there's been yet another delay. Yes, indeed, uh, Clements. I must say it's been a very difficult and long road for the family, uh, given the fact that this happened in November of 2017, and now we're in November of 2020. But um, the judge says that he has every right to grant uh, the accused an opportunity for a social worker. Um, the accused did not want to get, uh, did not want to use the uh, state's resources. He wanted to appoint a uh, private social worker. This is for pre-sentencing statement, and uh, the court has granted this. We understand that the social worker will be in consultation with the accused uh, tomorrow, and then a decision will be made as to when sentencing will happen. But we know that the family uh, is desperate for some kind of closure, um, as this has been going on for years, and uh, they just want to know uh, what the actual sentencing and the verdict will be when it comes to how many years uh, Petro Paolo will spend in jail for murdering his father and his wife. All right, Heidi Jokos, thanks so much for your time this afternoon.